Hi Libra, welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings, Tarot Readings from the Heart. Thanks ever so much for joining me on your um, week ahead advice reading. So we do the advice readings. I've decided now just to put them on YouTube because it makes more sense. People couldn't view the videos when I put it on uh, via a link for you to click on and they couldn't view it on my website. So uh, this will be on, on YouTube from now on. Uh, so yeah, this is three card advice reading and how I do my advice reading now is I look at the first card as being the advice and the other two cards showing me what the situation is about. So Universe Spirit, what is the advice card that you have for Libra? What is the advice that you have for Libra? Sun, Moon and Rising Signs. What is the advice that you have for Libra over the next seven days from Monday 12th June 2017 through to Sunday 19th of June 2017? Show me what the advice is that you have for Libra over the next seven days from Monday 12th June 2017. Show me. So let's have a look at what the actual advice is. So the Seven of Swords. The advice for the Seven of Swords is to be savvy and it's to be clever, but it also represents to be cautious and to be careful when you get the Seven of Swords. Also, it represents the need for careful planning. So some of you guys, the advice might be for next week, over the next seven days, could be tread carefully, could be the need to plan properly on a situation, could be that you're going to need to be cautious. The advice could be, well, be cautious, tread carefully around the situation. It might be that the advice is be cunning and be smart, because by being cunning and smart, you'll get there faster. What's the situation around? Well, there you go. You've got the five of wands. There's a conflicting situation. Um, is that an end? Well, hang on. Let me have a look at this. Four of swords. So conflict, four of swords. Two contra cards. All right, so for some of you guys, because usually when I get the first card out here, because if this is at an end, I can't see um, why we'd have this, why the need would be to be uh, cautious. And this is you, actually, Libra. Seven of Swords is, uh, Swords are air, okay? Um, but the situation is showing a fight clearly here. Conflict, combat with the Five of Wands. Uh it could be that you need to, I think this is saying, usually these two cards would be uh, very much influential. So you get the first card and then what the situation is about. I think that because both of these cards here, Four of Swords, Five of Swords, are air cards, I think that this is saying also the advice might be to escape, run off, leave it, because the Seven of Swords means to run to run away from something as well. I think the advice is to leave a situation behind because I'm looking at the synergy between both. If we look here, we've got the Four of Swords. This person's taking a break on this situation. So this person's kind of refraining from getting involved. And because both are Swords and you're Libra, I think that this is you here with these two cards. So the reading is slightly different at the moment because it, I think the reading has been has to be done slightly differently. It's still advised, but it's slightly different. I think it's saying that the situation is that there is some form of um, argument here and it's telling you with the Four of Swords that you're to refrain from it. So you're to refrain, keep yourself out of an argument. You can see with the Four of Swords, this person, they could pick up a sword and back the hell out of these guys but this person leaves the sword down they're not willing to take action when you get the four of swords it means to give something a rest let it be just let it lie it says it's not time for action and you've got action here so i feel that what this is saying is is that there is an art for some of you guys it might be there is a situation here an argumentative situation that you need to refrain from and that's why the advice is be careful and be very very cautious why are you being cautious around why well, you're being cautious around the situation uh, could be involving many people. Five of Wands is many people battling. It could be amongst co-workers. It could be amongst competitors. It could be amongst, you know, um, arguing with your partner, whatever it is. But it's saying arguments here you need to refrain from with that Four of Swords. So double time on this. We see be cautious, be careful, tread carefully. Because there's an argument here that I feel that you guys need to refrain from next week. If this resonates with you, then you'll know what it's about. But I feel any type of arguments, any type of combative um, energy going on, I feel any type of conflict, you need to kind of... And this is you here, both of you. And you can see the synergy between both cards. Both cards represent to escape a situation. If you were to look at, well, how, how, you know, how does Seven of Swords and Four of Swords work as card? You look at, what, well, what's the similarity between both cards? Both cards represent to... Res to um, to refrain, to escape, to 
uh, take oneself out of a situation. The Seven of Swords by running off from a situation, escaping a situation, and the Four of Swords about withdrawing from a situation. So from an argument, you guys, and this is you, your Libra, you need to withdraw. There's an argument here, withdraw from it. And therefore the advice is be very careful, tread carefully around situations, around people. And why would you do that? Because there's an argument that you really need to withdraw from. So I feel that if there's any kind of negative energy around you, especially if it's arguments involving other people, co-workers, conflict, competitiveness, that type of thing, I think it's telling you to kind of just let it go. Withdraw from it. Remove yourself from it. Because the advice is be very, very careful. You know, because if you're not, things can come back and bite you in the ass. That type of thing. All right, that's your advice, Libra, for the next seven days, okay? Uh, I'd like to say thanks ever so much for joining me on Carol's Universe, and I'll see you guys for your month ahead readings at the end of the week. Take care.